Hi, this is Chris Myers. And I'm Lynn Bourne Myers. And we are both uh, co-directors of Project Dragonfly here at Miami University. And uh, we're just here to say a big thanks celebration to CCF on their 30th anniversary. That is fantastic. We've been working with them for 16 years since 2004. They were the inaugural uh, site of uh, Earth Expeditions um, way back in 2004. And this journey has just been fantastic. And uh, I would like to point out that we have had over the years more than 500 students participate in the Earth Expeditions course in Namibia. And without a doubt, it has been incredibly transformative for everyone. And uh, all our best to the whole CCF team. And we're looking forward to the next 16 years. Bye, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> Hi everybody, Dan Marsh from the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden in Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. Uh, extending a warm uh, congratulations to CCF for 30 years, 30 years. And what's exciting for me is that I've been involved in, in, with CCF for over half of its existence. We started our program with you back in 2004, so that's about 16 years of programming. We're in our, in our 17th year now, uh, or about to start it, that is. And um, Lori and Bruce, congratulations. What an amazing thing you've built over 30 years. Uh, it is a um, impressive place uh, with impressive people doing impressive work. Saving the cheetah is no small thing in a country where livestock is uh, what drives the local economy for sure. That piece of, of conservation not being homogenous across all countries, that it differs by country, it is a product of place, is key. Because the way it's done in Namibia is different than it is in the United States or Europe, per se. And that difference is eye-opening for many people. Sometimes shocking, sometimes provocative, but they understand that it's the local people, the people that control the fate of wildlife that are going to make the biggest impact. And that's Namibians. I think one of the big pieces that stuck out to me about one of the things that we heard on the trip was from our talk with Dr. Lori Marker when she said, there is no they. Um, and just really taking that in to think, if you always sit around and think that someone else is gonna do it, that there's a they that's gonna fix the problem or fix the world, uh, that no one's gonna do it. And so to take that initiative and care enough to actually just start working um, and doing what you can, that really stuck out to me. Learning about CCS success left a lasting impact that I had not anticipated both personally and professionally. To create change, all voices need to be heard. All perspectives need to be understood. Education needs to be available and accessible. And you continue to work until understanding and a shared value is created. And then you continue to work some more. Being able to hear my student voices, being able to come to shared values and a shared goal by the end of the school year, or maybe even just the end of the day. I will be forever grateful for this opportunity. So my time at the Cheetah Conservation Fund really impacted me both personally and professionally. You know, as a zookeeper, my job is to not only care for the amazing animals that I get to work with, but to also educate our guests on how to conserve our wildlife resources. And you know, you can read about things in a book or see it on TV, but you don't really get to experience it until you're there in person. And being at the Cheetah Conservation Fund in Namibia was really a life-changing moment for me because it kind of connected all the dots for me professionally. You know, getting to meet the people who work there and local educators and the local farmers. Yeah, I mean, it really kind of turned that human element for me when, you know, I'm used to the animal side of things. And it really helped me understand that conservation is not just an animal issue, but a human issue too. Uh, so happy 30th Cheetah Conservation Fund and here's to many, many more years. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Murphy. I'm Vice President for Learning and Community Engagement at Lincoln Park Zoo. Um, I had the good fortune to participate in the Namibia EE program in 2007 when I was at Brookfield Zoo. I had a good working knowledge of formal and non-formal science education, but really the work I had done with communities to that point was really more of an outreach model, um, more unidirectional, more service provider. And having reflecting on it now, I think that some of the tenets that underpin the philosophy that we use for community engagement at Lincoln Park Zoo really stemmed from the time in Namibia, the idea of working with all of our partners and stakeholders, of listening, of co-creating, of evolving.
Well, there you have it. Just a few of the hundreds of student stories that have come out of the Cheetah Conservation Fund partnership that we've had over these years with Project Dragonfly. I am Jill Korach. I'm the Assistant Director of our field programs here, and it's been a real honor to work with you all on Earth Expeditions over the years, really showing us the complexities, the struggles, the celebrations that can be part of this type of conservation work and research together. So thank you for that. Uh, the images that just went by are of our staff and our instructional team members that have supported these courses over the years as well. So on behalf of all of us, thank you. Enjoy your celebration, and we look forward to the road ahead.